Welcome to Tech Guy channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Google Maps offline on Android. Google Maps includes support for saving maps offline, and the feature was recently expanded to be more powerful. The offline data will include streets, basic points of interest, and the ability to use turn-by-turn -turn navigation. First, let's try to navigate in the Google Map with the Wi-Fi turned off. You can see here that it issues no results. Now, let's move on on how to use Google Maps offline, but I have to turn the Wi-Fi first to be able to download the selected map later. First, launch the Google Maps app on your phone. Next, tap on the hamburger menu icon in the top left corner of your screen and then select offline maps. Now that you're in the offline maps menu, choose the select your own map button at the top of the screen. When you see the map, pinch to zoom out until the blue box is covering your desired location. When you're happy with your selection, hit download. Note, internet connection is required at this time. Do note that Google Maps will let you know how much data the offline map will take up on your handset. Once these are downloaded, even if you lose a data connection, you should be able to still navigate around the area without a problem. Once your map is downloaded, it will be listed with any other offline maps. Let's turn off our Wi-Fi and try to navigate same place as we had earlier. Now it's working. By clicking on the three dot menu icon, you can update, view, rename, or delete the item. Updating it will refresh the data with newly closed roads and other street changes. Viewing it lets you scroll through the map as usual, you can rename it to better identify each item, or delete it to save room on your device. Additionally, you can tap on the gear icon in the top left corner of the display to adjust settings that let the offline maps to get automatically updated over Wi-Fi and more. This covers how to use Google Maps offline on Android. If you have a question to ask, leave it in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer it. And if you found this tutorial is helpful, please give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.